More than 100 years ago, a German doctor by the name of Paul Ehrlich advanced the idea that a chemical substance could selectively affect physiological processes in the body. This idea, which he called the magic bullet, is the basis of modern pharmacology. Practically every medicine in use today is interacting with a protein target and either boosting or inhibiting its function, thus achieving its therapeutic effect. It is estimated that there are more than two million different proteins in the human body. We know the function of only a small fraction of them. How can we find out which proteins are deregulated in a disease state and which we need to influence to achieve a cure? Proteins come from genes and it is somewhat easier to study genes than to study proteins. One approach to finding new drug targets involves comparing the genes of healthy individuals with those of people with a disease. The differences between the two genetic maps can help generate hypotheses on which proteins, or lack thereof, cause the disease. It is also possible to do the opposite. Change one gene at a time in cells or simple organisms and observe the resulting effect, the so-called phenotype, of the mutation. If the phenotype has some similarity with a disease state, it can give ideas about the possible relation between the mutated gene and the disease. Yet another, different approach is to start already with a bioactive substance, for example a natural medicine used in traditional medicine, a compound from basic research, or known drugs with unexpected effects. A famous example of this is aspirin, the active component of the willow bark extracts used to cure fever long before modern medicine. Its target protein, cyclooxygenase, is also the target of a number of modern anti-inflammatory and analgesic drugs. It is not easy to find out which proteins bind to a chemical substance. A rich discipline called chemoproteomics offers a wide range of methods to study just that. At Roche Pred, we consistently look for new targets with many different approaches, from phenotypic screening to gene association studies, to chemoproteomics, transgenic organisms, imaging, biomarkers and many other methods, looking for the gold nugget of information hidden in large amounts of biological data. Identifying the right target is only the first stage of a very long process, but as a wise man said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, and with a potential cure at the end of the path, we confidently begin the march.